Hey everybody, this is Brett, and today I'm going to show you how to insulate an Airstream vent. And an Airstream vent from 1979, approximately, looks like this, and it has lights all along the side. And so it's not your typical Airstream vent. It's rather cool because when you open the vent to a certain point, it starts the fan that's up in there. But um, there are these vent insulating things that you can push up into vents, modern vents, but they won't work on this one because it's totally different. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to insulate this Airstream vent today. Oh yeah, shit, I've got chocolate on my nose. Is that better? <laughs> okay, so first I'm going to remove the cover by taking out these screws and then removing the crank and then pulling it down. Okay. There we go. Now, the other day I spent the better part of a full day removing that and this unit also, this plate with the six lights in it and vacuuming out all the bees nests and bugs and leaves and all the crap that was up above that and i had to get on top of the airstream and stick a vac hose down in there and i also did it from the side here oh my god it was just like <laughs> this thing had been this airstream had been out in a field and it just hadn't been you know regularly taken care of and so Anyways, so what we're going to do is we're going to place a piece of foam. A piece of foam insulation right here that's just the right size to cover that vent. Okay, so after measuring, I've determined that I need an 8 and 1 8 inch wide by 12 inches long piece. So let's cut that. Okay, so I've made the marks on this piece. And I learned how to cut foam board by watching some videos. And one, one video, or a couple of videos, said that you should use heat. You should heat that up. And I tried that, but it's really not necessary. All you have to do is make several cuts. The first cut should be made with a straight edge to get a nice straight cut. After you've made one, then make a second one, and it will stay on the same line. Make another one. It takes about four or five cuts with an ulfa. And this is the kind of a blade that you want to use. One of these extendable ulfas that has a nice long blade after you've extended it all the way. Okay, there's my length. Every video needs music, right? And so, I'm going to provide some Olivia Newton-John for y'all. Oh my god, remember her? God, she was gorgeous. Have you ever been mellow? I'm going to use a square now to make sure it's nice and square. Have you ever tried? To find some comfort from inside Have you Have you ever been happy Just to sing your song Have you ever let someone else be strong na, 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 na. Na, 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 na. Where the fuck is my pen? Da, 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 da. You can tell I'm trying to sing really good, huh? Okay. 12 inches long. Now I'm going to check the fit to make sure it's perfect. Right on the gnat's ass, baby. Okay. 
Okay, next we drill the holes for the screws. Okay, so I decided to make this piece wider and a little bit longer so that I'll be able to have pure metal to screw into instead of that screen, which that wouldn't be very good. But the thing is that in order to do that, I'll have to cut notches out right here to get that to fit up snug. I already cut a notch out there for the screw the uh, lifting mechanism for the fan cover deal. Okay, so now I made the marks with a pen and I'm gonna cut that out. Okay, I need to cut them out just a little bit more because there's a plastic piece, as you can see, on the bottom of this cord. And if it doesn't clear that, then it won't, this won't press up against the base flat. So I gotta cut them out just a little bit more, almost all of them. Okay, so I got really specific and made marks on each one. See, that one has, needs more cut out on that side. That one needs more cut out on that side so that I know specifically exactly where to cut more okay, out. Okay, there it is. Perfectly fit and numbered as number one. There are three in this trailer. Now I'm going to drill the holes in strategic spots. This one needs to be right about there. I may have to just pull this down in a minute and drill it without the foam. Hopefully I don't hit an electric wire. Okay, so you have to put big, fat fender washers under these screws because this foam, as you probably know, is just like feathers, you know? It's so light and bendable. And these are one and a quarter inch screws. And so they need to suck that foam in a little bit to get in deep enough to these holes, but they're gonna be just right with just a little bit of sucking. Okay, and now I wanna show you with the flashlight. I don't know if you can see, there we go. Okay, so you can see that the edges are pressed up against the base with the fender washers holding everything nicely and screws holding everything nice and tight all the way around with little openings for each wire and it's foam so we don't have to worry about it catching there on. you have it one sealed airstream vent thanks for joining me everybody here i am baby sign sealed delivered i'm yours Oh yeah, here I am, baby. Signed, sealed, delivered, I'm yours. <laughs>